What prevents already successful companies from embracing new growth and transformational opportunities? And can you share a case study with us about this? Sure. Well, it, it really comes down to the, the success becomes the, 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 the ability to be successful becomes the disability when it comes to trying to create a new business model. Every successful existing business is operating by a successful business model. That's been honed over many, many years. Processes have been refined, the rules and norms of the organization, the way it makes money, the exact way that it serves a customer. All these things have been developed and refined and honed. And that becomes the, if you will, orthodoxy that gets in the way of being able to develop new business models. The old actually gets in the way of the new. And so it's very hard for these companies to get out of their own way. A great case example would be Research in Motion, a Canadian company that develops the Blackberry. Our old Blackberries. The old yeah. Blackberries. <laughs> They've been around a long time and they were very, very successful in their time. When they came out in 1999, you know, they were the greatest thing because you could then have email on the go and they developed into a consumer product. They just dominated the business market. And then all of a sudden, Apple comes along with its iPhone and completely changed the paradigm. It was not just about being a, you know, a phone. It was really a platform for developing all the applications that sit on an Apple iPhone, which was completely different than what BlackBerry offered. And BlackBerry was spending all of its time developing, refining, extending what it knew as its success. But when Apple came along, it required them to do something completely new and different, and it was caught flat-footed. It had spent so much time focused on its core that it could never really look beyond. So they weren't taking advantage of their white spaces. They just kind of ignored what was happening and just say too focused, you think, on what their existing right. product they was. They either ignored it or to, to the sort of the results of what the case study said, they, they said part of the problem was they used the quote, how do you change the engine? when you're flying at 200 kilometers an hour. They felt like they were riding this great wave, this, this great machine called the BlackBerry, and if they took their eyes off that, they felt like that business could go, go away. It, in fact, did mostly go away because of Apple, but at the time they felt like they could continue to make improvements and compete against Apple, and it just became a long-term downward spiral.